Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the Opera web browser on Mac OS, specifically the uh, 10.12 version of Sierra. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward tutorial, we're going to just jump right into it. So using any web browser, I'm just going to happen to open up Google Chrome here. And I'm just going to type in Opera in the URL address bar. And I'm going to hit enter. So one of the first results that come up should be Opera Browser. You want to left click on that, the one that has the Opera domain name. You want to click the Download Now button. And now depending on what browser you're using to download this installer, it might look a little bit different. But in Google Chrome, the downloads should be saved at the bottom of the page. Firefox and Safari should be up at the top. So I'm going to open up the zip file here. That's the delivery package that Opera is delivered in. So it appears we're going to have to open up the archive utility here and that will allow us to run the installer. So if we open up the downloads folder, we see the Opera installer is here. It's about one and a half megabytes. I'm going to double click to open it up. So it's going to say that the application was downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? I'm going to select open. So now that the installer is open, we're going to select install. So this is going to take a moment here, so just be patient. Okay, so once we've done that, we can see that we are prompted if we want to change our default web browser. If you want to change it, click Use Opera. If you want to keep whatever else you were using prior, just select the left button. But let's just say we want to make it our default browser. I'm going to select Use Opera here. And we see that we have the Opera web browser installed. 
And then if we wanted to pin the Opera web browser down to our dock, all we have to do is just right click on the Opera icon in our dock, left click on options, and then make sure keep in dock is selected. So pretty straightforward. Once you're done doing that, you can close out your web browser or just do whatever you want pretty much at that point. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.